welcome back to my channel i'm going to be talking about how to fix your falsies now if there's anything that i recently learned how to do in terms of makeup it has to be falsies because for the longest of time i have been shying away i have been running i've been saying oh, i don't know how to do this thing but my case is so different because i have extremely curly lashes like my lashes curl into themselves they make a perfect circle but i used to be so scared of fixing my lashes like it's something i dread like lashes don't fit me for the longest of time lashes don't fit me i don't like them they are always doing this to my eyes blah 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 but all those things were just me giving excuses on how to on on wearing lashes basically so the first thing i'm going to be doing is to go in with my mascara and the mascara i'm going to be using today is the zara lengthening mascara now i love this mascara because of the um, brush so it, it's not so big it's not too large it's really really comfortable and slim aside from being able to pick out your, your lashes it kind of adds some form of length to your lash i do not have the longest lash so this is a win-win for me if you ask me. I'm just going to go in, in with my mascara now and just feather out my my natural lashes. The next thing I'm going to be going in with is my lashes. And this lash is from Beauty Line by Didi, currently known as Shop, currently known as Didi Beauty. So you can check them out and it's in the design nigeria the feathers out towards the end so this is what this design in nigeria looks like and i am going to be using this tweezer it's also from beauty line by didi it's also from didi beauty so why i prefer this um tweezer to the other regular one is because it looks like this it's curved it's curved um here so it helps me place my lashes properly and it helps me bring down my curly lashes because sometimes those um, curly lashes they tend to get in the way there's something i want to mention while you're taking out your lashes from the pack don't just pull it out anyhow because you can destroy the shape of the lash so what i would advise you to do is once you get the pack like this you bend it then from the end you use your tweezer to pick it out even if you're going to be using your hand you can just pick it out so this is what i'm going to be doing i'm just going to be picking out picking it out from the end yeah and so this is what we have here so now that we have the lashes out the next thing you might you want to do actually is to measure your lash so what i do personally i use my tweezer and i put it in between the lashes and i make sure that it gets to very close to the band and then it secures it properly so the next thing i do is to place it on my natural lashes just so i see where my lashes start from after measuring it and you know where to stop what you're going to do is i can't find my scissors but you need to have these very tiny scissors so you just cut it out from the end you see this part where it flares out that is the part that you have to cut it out from please please do not cut it out from the beginning part because it, it wouldn't look really nice and then the next thing we're going to be doing is to apply um, glue on our lashes so the glue that i'm going to be using is the all time classic makeup super hold lash glue now this glue is an og and it is really affordable so it dries out fast it dries out clear like it, you don't have to worry that it's going to get stained on your on your eyeshadow or all of that it's also one of the reasons why i actually love it i do not like all of those glue that is black because most of most of the time when you make a mistake you can see it on your eyeshadow but with this one even if you make a mistake you just have to raise it up and then place it back again i'm using this lash glue for a very long time and for the amount that it goes for it sure does the job i would recommend this lash glue to you guys rather than those um black ones so you can use a toothpick or something a bobby pin or something that is really slim or needle you can use that to apply your lash glue but because this this um lash glue already comes with an applicator this is another reason why i love this lash glue. 
it comes with an applicator and it's really slim so i'm just going to be using this to apply my lash glue and if you notice i am applying it on the band of the lashes only on the band try your best for it not to touch the hairs so you turn back and then you apply it also make sure you apply it to the edges too i'm going to be waiting for about 15 seconds now you can count down 15 seconds or you can blow it for it to get fat for it to get drier faster or if you have those tiny pans or your ac is on or something you can just hold it up or hold it towards the fan or better still you can apply the glue and then move on to other things do other things like maybe finishing up your look or your eyeshadow or something Shall I just do something someone might ask how will they know that the lash glue is ready to use now when you get your lashes and you tap on the glue if you notice this gooey um look that means it's ready to use but then if you do not notice that you have that gooey thing following your hand that means you have to wait some more let me also say that some lash glue dry faster than others so don't don't think too much if yours is not drying as fast as it should i went ahead to fix these lashes off camera just so that i'll use this one to demonstrate to you guys what i'm talking about so another tip or something i want to mention here is that i sometimes am applying some glue at three strategic points on my eyelid just so that my um, falses see something more to hold on to it just helps me make my whole process a bit easier so i apply just a little bit at the end here yeah. try your best if possible for your lash glue to not touch your natural lashes because Taking them off can really be, be frustrating, but I've, <laughs> I've um, come to terms with the fact that it is not me that it is not me. I cannot. It cannot happen that lash glue will not touch my lashes because of how curly these lashes are. So I apply somewhere in the middle, and then I apply somewhere at the beginning. And we all know how frustrating and how hard sometimes it can be when your the beginning of your lash is not sticking on your lid that thing can be so frustrating so once i do that i also leave it to um, dry out or get tacky for a while make sure that you do not apply too much glue on your lashes because if you do that or when you do that it actually takes more time for your um, last for your for the glue to dry out. I'm just be showing you how to fix your faults. You don't want to go head on like this on your lash. You don't want to do that. Instead, or rather, you want to go from above. You want to come in from above. So it's going to look like you're placing it on your own natural lash instead of coming directly like this. So just in case you you have curly lashes like mine, this tip usually helps me you might want to use a mascara wand to hold down your natural lashes out of the way like so and, and then place your lashes on your lid but because i'm not i've grown yes that's the word i've grown i am not going to be using this mascara wand. i'm just going to be going in directly with my tweezers and my lashes So I've placed it now and the next thing I'm going to be doing is to use my tweezer to adjust my lashes. Firstly, you want to take part that flares out, you want to stick it on first before you come in to do the beginning of your lashes. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. And you also want to make sure that you have a layer. using the tweezers now to drag down the lashes this is also one of the reasons why i love this tweezers game from day one but i still want what a shame because like you lost for something that can never 
never be replaced I'm a savage, bad bitch, you can have this It's life I live, it's something you cannot even imagine Cross me one thing after pressing it I'm going to be using this same tweezer to merge or press my falsies and my natural lashes together so they merge and then they look like one you can also use your fingertips to do this if you want to fixing your falsies if you still want to go ahead with your mascara you can still do that to just pick out whatever hair is left you can do that but on a regular day i do not do this in fact i don't do this i don't go back in with a mascara because i don't want the mascara to touch my falsies so after doing that and you are very sure that you cannot see any demarcation between your falsies and your natural lashes when you look straight into the mirror then i think your process is pretty much done right so as i'm looking straight to my mirror now i cannot see any demarcation there are no demarcations in between my eyes yeah. so this is how i apply my falsies or this is how i fix my lashes on my curly lash so remember that this process requires a lot of practice like i mean a lot of practice you cannot just come and then get this whole process done in just one month or except you're practicing every day you shall just need to practice and then keep practicing because that is the only way you're going to get better especially if you have curly lashes and especially if you are a beginner i hope that this video was really really explanatory i hope that you learn how to fix your pulses because they are really important like eyelashes bring out the whole look in fact they are the look you get so you really need to learn how to fix your lashes all you have to do is keep practicing and then re-watching this video and definitely you're going to get a hang of it thank you so much for watching to this point if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section and i'll be answering them as much as i can if you're seeing me for the first time hi my name is eva anthony please don't make it your last by subscribing to my channel with that red button down below and it's free please hit the subscribe button give this video a like and also put on the bell just so that you know whenever i put up a video i hope to see you in one of my next videos and until then stay safe be blessed and stay beautiful Place. I'm a savage, bad bitch, you can have this It's life I live, it's something you cannot even imagine Cross me once, you're out and I won't let you back in Far from God with me, there's no atonement